Woo. Let me tell y'all something. God just uh has a floodgate going on. I need a clear set of the acid of the acid. I need the eight of the eight. So what I mean is he has his spirit. Pour it out on his children. And it's so overbearing that when we have to release it, we have to release it. All right. So I've been just flooding and flowing all day. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is reminding me that um, of my prophetic word. That was called build your ark. You see in my word. That God gave me that was called build your ark. God was speaking of a flood. A great washing. A great wave of his spirit was coming. You see God can speak and say something. But see God is God. And then the Bible it talks about that God's ways are higher than our ways. And his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. So when God speak we cannot comprehend what he is saying well see god was telling me and telling you there is about to be a certain move of me and i'm going to over flood you with my spirit you won't be able to hold it or conceal it but when i fall on you you have to open up your mouth and speak of my glory well come on lord so now I'm flooding your timeline because I have to touch those who I have came to touch and wake up and bring and bear gifts. Thank you, Jesus. All right. So I'm going to get my testimony. I'm going to give my testimony. Of something that happened to me today. You see, I had an ex. My first real boyfriend that I took serious when I was 16. Well, I went to Dollar General today for my mother. And I seen him and his mother. I had a conversation with them. And we spoke and we exchanged words. And that was it. So I left the store and going back to my mother's house, wasn't thinking nothing of it. God began to minister, minister to me how he has a way of bringing a turnaround. You see, when I was going with that guy at the time in my younger years, we were young. But our relationship was toxic and destructive. And you see, God got a way of putting you right in the very face of the person and of the people who, who mistreated you to show them, yes, you hurt her, but you did not conquer her. You helped strengthen her. And now I present her before you and she comes with me and I come through her and she'll speak forgiveness and love and still hug you and show mercy and grace because she's mine and I work through her. But I have a way of showing you, you missed out on the good thing. Hmm. Something else that happened in the store. In the same store. You see, it was this guy. He was standing behind me. And when I went up to the register to pay for my stuff, he said, he was playing with me. He said, so you just going to cut in front of me? I said, well, no, go ahead. You can go ahead. Go ahead. You can go ahead. I'm not going nowhere. I'm just rushing back in the house. He said, thank you. He went up there and paid for his food. I mean, his stuff. Well, he got to the counter and he didn't have enough money. I'm going to tell you something. Come on, 
on Holy Spirit. It's some people who've been rushing to beat you. That goes back, thank you, Jesus, to the, um, how do I say it? Thank you, Holy Spirit, to the turtle and the rabbit race that I was talking about. We all know the famous rabbit and the turtle story, right? Well, the rabbit is faster than the turtle, but the turtle wins the race. So he cut in front of me and I let him in front of me and I was patient. Okay. Well, he gets up there and he doesn't have enough money. God says, through me. Go ahead. Don't worry about it. I'll pay the rest. You see, you tried to get ahead of me so that you could win. You tried to get a head start, but I showed you favor. Go ahead. You want the spotlight? Go ahead. But you missed the blessing in disguise because when you got to where you were going, you realized that you weren't me, that you didn't have enough, that your value doesn't equal. Come on, hold it, 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 it. Come on, Holy Spirit. Your value does not equal mine, and you needed my grace and favor to pay for your blessings, your stuff. But go ahead. God displayed favor through me today. I paid for the guy's stuff. And the lady behind the counter, she tried to give me two of the dollars. And I pushed, I pushed the two dollars back. I said, no, I said, you don't have to pay me for his stuff. I said, he don't have to pay me for his stuff. I said that was God. God was trying to teach that young man something. But he hasn't gotten it yet. And the lady behind the counter, she said, Oh no, that's a life lesson that he that's a life lesson that he don't understand right now until he goes through something and then he'll understand what you did for him. I say on here all the time. Now, that, that's going to be our saying. That's going to be our slogan. Let God be God. So, the moral of the word. Stop trying to get one up on somebody. Stop trying to get ahead. Stop doing people wrong. Because God has a way of bringing the same person who you broke down who you tore down, he's going to raise them up, put them in your face. Remember, I seen my ex. How did you see? Did you see? And that person, if they are of God, they won't spite you. They'll show you forgiveness, mercy, and grace. And even though you cut in front of them and you try to steal their spots, you won't accomplish what you set out to accomplish. And they'll still show you favor and help you when you are in need. Because I operate through them. In love, favor, mercy, forgiveness, and grace. And I'll teach you a lesson in the process that you don't even understand right now, but eventually, when you figure it out, see, y'all gonna start saying it just like me. I learned it. I had to learn it the hard way. I had to miss some things, some opportunities, because I couldn't see God in certain people in certain situations when he was talking to me. Be grateful for what you have. Stay in your lane and stop trying to get ahead. In Jesus' name, Lord, I worship you. We love you. All the glory belongs to you. This is for somebody. Unclog their ears. So that they may hear. In Jesus mighty name I pray Lord God. Amen and hallelujah.
You heard?